topic we cover today malnutrition the malnutrition means it is a lack of nutrition in the body that is called a malnutrition so who the world health organization given a definition for the malnutrition that is defined as the cellular uh, imbalance between the supply of nutrition and energy and the body's demand for them i ensure growth maintains and specific function that is called malnutrition this definition given by the who so here we can see what are the factors contributing production of malnutrition the malnutrition risk factors such as uh, lack of intake food and poor absorption of one or more food components and lack of education that parental education regarding the weaning and breastfeeding to the infant and children's nutrition and uh, uh, next you can see the poverty and uh, low economic status these all are the risk factors for the malnutrition so here you can see the three main clinical form of malnutrition are there first one is the marasmus second one kosherker and third one is the marasmic kosherker so that's why the marasmus means it is due to the uh, loss of uh, energy that energy malnutrition that is called the marasmus and kosherker means it is the protein malnutrition so uh, the last one is the marasmic uh, marasmic kosherker that is combination of marasmus and uh, kosherker so this is uh, due to the energy and protein imbalances or malnutrition and also it is malnutrition known as protein energy malnutrition so protein energy malnutrition under that we will discuss the marasmus and uh, kosherker so first one marasmus marasmus it is a form of uh, malnutrition and it is characterized by the loss of weight and loss of uh, subcutaneous fat and the wasting of the muscles these are the characteristics of the marasmus so here you can see the what are the symptoms or uh, clinical features of marasmus if the person has the marasmus the symptoms such as lack of physical activity lethargy uh, anorexia anxious irritabilities and uh, increase the length of head chest and abdominal circumference and diarrhea with or without vomiting and uh, dehydrations these all are the common symptoms of the patient who have the marasmus so second one is the kosherker the kosherker it is the uh, protein malnutrition and it is uh, symptoms we can see or characterized we can see that uh, uh, there is a uh, bilateral edema that is appear blotting appearance due to the water retention so that condition is the kosherker the symptoms such as edema so in severity of edema it is classified into three that is mild moderate and severe in this mild case we can see the edema uh, occur on the feet both feet and in the moderate you can see the edema appearance on both feet hands and lower legs in the severe edema uh, that is a generalized edema it is occurring in the face uh, hand arms legs and feet so these are the first symptoms of the kosherker that is edema second one is the mental changes this feeling anxiety irritability sleep disturbances will be occur and next you can see the dermatosis dermatosis is the skin lesions there, there you can see the uh, rub skin and uh, raw skin fissures and also there is a color changes of hair the color become orange or yellow colors of the hair so uh, these all are the common symptoms of the patient who have the kosherker so next we will see what are the uh, diagnostic evaluation for the malnutrition so if the patient have the marasmus or kosherker what the diagnostic evaluation we will be do here you can do the first one history collection history collection we have to collect the patient history about the dietary pattern daily activities if any kind of the medical uh, or surgical history so all the any present medications and all the things we have to collect and physical examination we should do the head to foot examination how to give the special attention to the 
skin changes, hair color changes and uh, circumference of the head, chest and abdomen and edema. So you have to assess these all the things in the physical examination. So next we will go for the CBC and HB level you have to assess and uh, electrolyte test, uh, urine analysis, this all the another investigation for this malnutrition uh, diagnosis. So next we will see what are the complications of the malnutrition. The complications such as hypoglycemia, hypothermia, anemia, fluid overloaded, heart failure, this all are the other complications of the malnutrition. The next important part that is the management. So what management we can provide the patient is on malnutrition. So management such as here we have to first assessment all the complications, we have to prevent the complications and improve the patient status. For the prevent complications such we know that there is a hypoglycemia, hypothermia and heart failure, fluid overloaded and also there is a chances to anemia and infections. So as per the symptomatics we have to provide the treatment. Here we can provide the treatment such as fol supplement of the folic acid and the zinc and vita multivitamin without ferrum and uh, myconazole for the uh, skin infectious or skin lesions and uh, for if the patient have the infectious any we can provide the amo uh, amoxicillin and uh, gendamycin. Uh, see this is all the pharmacological management we can provide patient uh, have some complications of this malnutrition and also we can give the uh, how to we can prevent this malnutrition. So some prevention method is there so we can see what are the prevention methods first one uh, promotion of breastfeeding and second one is the develop low uh, cost of weaning and next is the uh, family planning and the spacing, uh, spacing of birth and immunization, uh, food fortification and yearly uh, diagnosis and uh, treatment that also help to uh, control the complications. Uh, so these all the prevention method for the malnutrition. So today we discuss the malnutrition, the malnutrition also known as the protein energy malnutrition because mostly the condition occur due to the or uh, protein malnutrition and energy malnutrition mainly two are there marasmus and kosho worker uh, so hope you all understand the malnutrition and how to prevent the malnutrition uh, this all for today classes this is nisha signing off till we meet the next video